You ever been sometime gym? Where? You ever been sometime go to gyms? Gym for gym? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three, four times a week. Ah. Why? Can you see? Yeah, yes, because you look like press. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very strong, man. <laughs> Very strong, girl. Nah, I'm not strong. No. I'm average. This guy never heard about headphones. We're gonna have one crazy story. This story goes way, way back to the beginning of 2020. You see, I've been on board now for over a hundred days. And by the way, in case you're uh, wondering, Bob is still here. So uh, before we start, I think it's a good idea, like any good story, that we started with a cup of coffee. I promise you guys a crazy story and honestly this is one crazy story. really like that mirror in a mirror in a mirror in a mirror in a mirror trick always want to try that um once i disappear from the mirror i'm gonna have to turn the camera at me all right so as i was saying it all started in february 2020 this year and this story is gonna be the story of one particular ship in a huge industry the quantum of the seas you see, February 20 was the month that our last guest left the ship. Since February 20 until now, this ship had not a single guest. It's been a ghost ship, it's been floating across the ocean. 
So, to better tell the story, I'm gonna resort to one of my favorite ways of storytelling, which is drawing and crafting. February 20. That's when we said goodbye to our last guest, leaving us with only crew members on board the ship. As you know, COVID-19 has affected the entire world and particularly, 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 particular. Anyhow, let's use another word. And specifically, the cruise industry. Since COVID-19 have came, there was not a single cruise. We're talking 2020 no cruises so after all the guests left us and we said goodbye to our last guest and we cried and we wept and we felt very sad and quite afraid also because this is a job for the crew members here this is how they support their families that's their bread and butter and since then we've been basically kind of floating going around in the china sea going to the philippines going to china going to singapore back and forth and back and forth looking for a place that we can call home. It all started slowly. First we sent 100 here, 50 there. We were slowly, slowly getting stripped to a minimal skeleton crew. Started going down from 1,700. Who's the longest that was on board? Longest? Yeah. Longest, longest contact. Who's the longest on board? Who oh, years on board? Oh, Rodolfo Polito. Rodolfo? Yeah. Who, who's Rodolfo? <laughs> Huh? Where is Rodolfo? How long have you been on board? Huh? Six months. Ah, you're not the longest. How long have you been on board? Almost coming nine months. Guys, who's ready to go home? Alright. To a thousand, five hundred, two hundred, all the way down to eighty-three. Salamat. That was the minimum of minimum of the skeleton crew that we needed to actually operate the ship and keep it floating at sea. Are you getting me? We're talking about 83 crew members on a ship that is designed to have it at maximum capacity 7,008 humans. This is literally practically a ghost ship by definition. So these 83 people left to drift in the ocean all by ourselves and just waiting. And the days went by, and the week went by, and the, and the months went by. I think there was a certain point that we even uh, reached more than a hundred days without anyone on board having his feet touch solid ground. You can spend days walking around and you won't see anyone unless you go for lunch and that's where you meet everyone. We kept sailing across the ocean, waiting and waiting. We were not allowed to go and dock at any port. And we waited. Waited and waited and waited and we waited. And after approximately a hundred days of just floating around, drifting in the water, not seeing land, not seeing human, and floating and floating, waiting and waiting and waiting, and just passing our time in the middle of the ocean, waiting for some good news. Something happened. Something very exciting happened. Time passed by and people were starting to wonder will we ever go back to cruising?
Still one day, we got the good news. Singapore is allowing its citizens to go on cruises. So guys, that's a no-brainer. We decided we are going to Singapore. What's, What's up, up, Singapore? Singapore? <laughs> So now we need to sail and go and reach Singapore so we can have our first cruise ever since the pandemic. Anchors up, engine on, and the ship went boom, 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 boom. Ta da! And now we are one day away from reaching Singapore, meaning that tomorrow is gonna be the first time that my feet are gonna touch solid ground, hopefully. Can I walk in? Yeah? Yeah? I just want to touch the ground. Can I? Yeah? I make a video, I just want to touch the ground. Is that okay? Yeah? I know it's Huh? Just want to touch the ground. Yeah? Is it okay? Yes! <laughs> okay? Mission accomplished. First time touching the ground. Yes. And it's gonna be the first time that I'm gonna see another human that is not part of the crew members that are on board the ship. Now bear in mind, this is gonna be one exciting operation because once we reach Singapore, we're gonna start having crew members coming on board the ship batch by batch. Every crew member that will come will go immediately to two weeks quarantine on board the ship to make sure he doesn't have corona. And once he's out of quarantine, we're gonna start working to prepare ourselves so we can go and have the first cruise. Guys, the first cruise is gonna be in the beginning of, I'm really bad with months in English. In Israel, we just have it by the numbers. So, um, December, December 1st is gonna be our first cruise having real guests on board the ship. Now, bear in mind, this is gonna be a crazy operation. We're gonna have the cast members come. <laughs> you must be a dancer. No <laughs> way! Enjoy quarantine, guys. Thank you. I love you guys. Honestly, love you. We're gonna have the cast members coming out of 14 days of quarantine and having probably one week, if not even less, to prepare this amazing show for our guests. We're gonna have the housekeeping, running around preparing all the rooms, bed sheets, and etc. We're gonna have cleaners, we're gonna have engineers, technical people going around. The ship is gonna look like a madhouse. But that's exciting. That's kind of like having the behind the scene at a fancy restaurant where you see everybody's going crazy, 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 and then we come to ta da the day that we have our first guest step on board the ship. And I'm gonna try to capture that actually. I'm gonna try to film that first step of the first guest who come on board the ship. So if you are the first guest, warning you, you might end up in my YouTube video. Unless you don't want to, and then you can just, you know, pepper spray me or something, and I'll get the hint and I'll, you know, won't uh, put you in my YouTube. Tomorrow is gonna be an exciting day. Tomorrow I'm gonna meet my first human that is not part of our crew member's family. And yeah, things are gonna be different. It's interesting because you get so used to this quietness and you get so used to uh, being on your own, thinking about the things you wanna do in life, thinking about the things that you did in life, and suddenly we're coming back to a new stage where, let me say it differently, life might come back a little bit to the way it used to be before. So, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Stuck in my heart, That's... Oh. 
That's the that's the, the famous uh, yeah the famous <laughs> that's the famous uh, ship hotel with the infinity pool. It's so close. Here comes the most important question: Will the authorities let me fly my drone? Because if they will, and I really hope they will. As, as you might have understood, we're not allowed to go on land, so we're not allowed to step on land. So close, but so far. But yet, luckily I have my drone, so that could be my eyes to go outside and see uh, and show you. So I'm going to probably meet soon the port agent and the authorities, and that will be one of the first questions that I'll ask them. Of course, after I ask some important questions as per my job. By the way, you're the first human that I see on land. On land, yeah.